Verizon 5G home availability expands to 900 cities. The story from Trey Paul, CNET.com. The carrier, Verizon, has launched 5G N77 C-band, and now it is available for its fixed wireless home internet option to hundreds of new cities, millions of potential customers. I'll explain why this is important to you for anybody out there that is looking for another home internet option or a better home internet option than what they have now. So the 5G ultra wideband network from Verizon includes their millimeter wave as well as their dedicated mid-band 5G channels like N77 in this case. Uh, Verizon 5G home internet is something that Verizon is putting a lot of mom- uh, push into, looking to get momentum. They are going to be competing for fixed wireless customers with the likes of T-Mobile and their home internet product. So with these two companies going at it, four customers from DSL, uh, HughesNet, Viasat, you know, satellite internet providers, and crappy cable providers, they're really not going to get, you know, I don't think they'll get fiber customers, but, you know, that's a little bit of a tough proposition. But here's some insight. According to Brian Danfield of Verizon, with this, with this expansion, we're taking talking approximately 900 cities now. That's a big leap in the number of markets that will have the Verizon 5G home available over the N77. It's available in a lot more places than earned if changes, and it's a different dynamic. I have to agree. All right, T-Mobile Home Internet is available in 600 cities, just over 600 cities. Verizon has jumped to 900. That's an interesting thing there because T-Mobile's home internet has been up and running for the better part of two years, dating back to their beta launch, which was over LTE, then with the N71 launch, and then you know with the N41 launch. So they've, they've had a couple different steps in the evolution of their connectivity. I mean, pretty much overnight, Verizon goes, you know, over them with 900 cities covered with the service. All right. So it is going to be for Verizon a combination of 5G and LTE with the gateway that they ship out to customers. Obviously, it's going to be places where they don't have Verizon Fios. You know, they're going to be focusing on fixed wireless access in those situations. Uh, They are committing to offering Verizon 5G Home. By the year 2025, which is a few years away, uh, they're looking at reaching 50 million households and they're looking to get, you know, to to grand scale, $50 a month with auto pay and uh, or no, actually, it's $50 a month if you have their wireless service and then they give you a discount for auto pay brings it to 40. They'll lock you in on a two year price guarantee, too. There's no contracts. Uh, There's 5G Home Plus, which I think is $20 extra. You get a one-year extension on your price guarantee and additional perks. So this tells me that there could be a price hike after a few years, maybe. I don't know. That'll be something we'll have to see. Uh, But no contracts, no data caps, no extra fees. And then the equipment is included, no no fees on that. So this is pretty big time. I mean, pretty much overnight, Verizon turns it on, and they catapult above their competitor in fixed wireless access in T-Mobile. So T-Mobile's got problems (laughs) problems <laughs> i know they have big aspirations to do 5g home fix wireless access home and and all of that but it looks like verizon is they've kind of leaped ahead of them in in the reach uh reaching more cities and possibly reaching more people i would say but this is great for you because this brings you competition remember it has nothing to do with individual companies it's about the marketplace competing for your business this is wins all the way around. Doesn't matter. There's no such thing as a camp. There's no fanboyism. Put it all out the window. All right. This is great for competition. This is what we've been looking for, and we're glad to have it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, your thoughts and opinions. Welcome down below. You all the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Do you guys think that Verizon will continue to scale and accelerate beyond T-Mobile's reach? Do you think T-Mobile's going to kick it up a notch and try to match and get back there? Love to hear what you have to say. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Uh, please do check out the links in the description box for the channel uh, links. We've got the Patreon. Support us. Get early access and exclusive content not found anywhere else. Discounts and promos on Los Mobile uh, just for supporting us. And then my email and Twitter handle are in the description box as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all on the next video. Peace.